Hey, sweetie. I think I hear Ashlyn crying in her bedroom. I'll be back in a sec. I give Sarah a quick peck on the lips and extract myself from beneath our shared blanket on the couch. Don't be long, she says, with a twinkle in her eye. She's a stunner. I'm a lucky guy. As I make my way down the hall, I hear my six-year-old baby girl sobbing, but in a tired way, like she would if she has just woken up. It must have been a nightmare, I think. I push open the door, grope my way past the walk-in closet, and take a seat beside her. Shh, it's okay, Angel. Daddy's here now. She snuggles into my armpit as I run my fingers through her golden locks. Hey, Daddy. Did you have a bad dream, Angel? No. Ashlyn sniffs and wipes her tears. Oh, okay. Then why are you sad, honey? It's just that I like Sarah a lot. She's really fun. Like when we made cookies that one time. Uh-huh, I agree. She thinks you're the absolute best too, you know that? But that shouldn't make you sad. Friends make us happy. She doesn't say anything for a moment. Just picks at the bottom of my shirt. Yeah, but mommy is gonna kill her, daddy. It takes me a second. There is a moment of panic before I realize what she's saying. It was a running gag between my late wife and I. She always said she'd kill any lady who tried to move in on her turf. I guess Ashlyn must have taken that more seriously than intended. Oh, Angel, mommy isn't going to hurt Sarah. I say with a chuckle, giving my little girl a warm hug. You don't have to worry about anything. For two reasons. First, is it because mommy's dead? Unnerving. Ah, well, yes, I guess you could say that. Silence. You know mommy will always be with you, right? Just like I always say. Ashlyn sniffs and nods. But daddy, mommy told me she's going to kill Sarah if she doesn't leave you alone. What? When did she tell you that? I hadn't met Sarah until a year after Melissa's fatal car accident. A little bit ago, daddy, before she left the closet. My heart stops and I suddenly seize Ashlyn with both hands, probably a bit too roughly. What are you talking about? It's not nice to lie, Ashlyn. He starts crying again, saying, But I'm not lying. Mommy was in the closet and she was singing my favorite Frozen song with me. But then she said she was going to kill Sarah because he belonged to her forever. There's a loud crash in the living room. A scream. Sarah! See, I'm not lying, Daddy. I'm too late to save Sarah. When I reach her, she's already dead. A knife in her neck. My dead wife's wedding ring rests beside Sarah's body. Her bloodied footprint lead into the kitchen. <laughs>